All right, today I want to talk a little bit about how to take an artistic self-portrait. Now this style of image might not be something you use in your email footer at work or something like that, but in a more artistic kind of shot might be something you would choose to have around for maybe your social media profiles. Or honestly, in my case, I did it just to experiment more with portrait photography. I haven't done very much at all. Most of my photography is architecture, landscape, and maybe a little bit of like lifestyle. But portraiture is something I'd like to get into more in the future. And starting with yourself is a great way to begin because no one will be irritated with you learning the ropes, moving lights around, you know, messing with your gear because it's just you and the camera. And so even though things go a little bit slowly, you only have to be patient with yourself. So first, let's talk a little bit about what gear you're going to need. I've kept it very simple for my first experiments. I'm using a really cheap light from the hardware store and I've just wrapped a little bit of cardboard around it to kill some of the spill off from that. And then a reflector. These are relatively affordable. You can find them on Amazon and you can bounce light off of them. You can pass light through them. Um, you can change the warmth of light. And really that's all you kind of need to sort of get started and play around a little bit. I would encourage you to get some kind of external lighting that you can control because it will allow you to experiment and explore angles and lighting techniques that will be more difficult to do, say, with natural light. So let's just get right into it. I'm gonna walk you through basically all of the images that I took to get to the final one. So you're gonna see all the messy details along the way, and I think that's important. So in the beginning here, I just set up my camera in front of my desk where I normally work. I just set up some new lighting in my workspace, and I wanted to see what kind of shots I could get with that. And honestly, they were pretty terrible. I was pretty dissatisfied with these overall. And so I busted out the um, secondary lighting pretty quickly. This is a technique I've done commonly in the past where you light your face pretty heavily and move yourself far away from the background. What's nice about that is you sort of lose all the information and color in the background and it allows you to bring a lot of emphasis onto the actual subject itself. In this case, my background is actually a kind of whitish blue wall, but because the image is only exposed for me, the subject, that more or less all turns to very dark shadows. And you can see that I started with a bit of like this profile idea. I kind of had this shot in my mind as what I wanted to get. But the first couple of shots and the first couple of attempts really, I mean, some were out of focus. They didn't look very good. It is a pain to walk back and forth between your camera, set in a timer, you know, take a shot, review it, take a shot, review it. So be patient. That's part of the process you need those repetitions to slowly work your way towards something you're going to like. Eventually, I kind of settled on this specific shot here. And when I was zooming in on my camera to see if I was in focus correctly, I ended up having sort of a crop on my little LCD screen that, that I really liked. And so I ended up recomposing this shot to be a little bit closer in and to basically emulate what I was seeing when I was zooming in a little bit. Most of these attempts after that are really just me moving my body, moving the light, and moving the camera around until I finally got things more or less generally laid out the way that I wanted. You can also see here that for the majority of this, I had my white balance set wrong. That's not, I use this camera a lot for video. It's not that big of a deal when you're taking raw images, but it's always nice to get that right in camera when you can. Don't be afraid also to make what you think might be mistakes because sometimes those turn into images that can be very interesting. So you really just have to explore along the way. So now you can see we're getting closer to where I ended up. I like that the lighting is sort of accentuating just my profile and then there's a lot of fall off as it moves back from my face. And I don't know if I really have a style, but if I did have a style, this would definitely be sort of in that vein. I like to take images that are relatively simple in composition where subjects are very clear, where less is more in a way. And I also really like the negative space in this image. I think it draws you to my features in particular. The thing is, I'm most certainly not a model. It doesn't really matter what you look like. The beauty of this is that you get to compose and reframe and change things to produce whatever you want. You know, when someone else takes your photo, they're making decisions about what angle you look best at and what kind of lighting conditions you look best at. But when you take your own self-portrait, you get to decide what the story is, what you do and don't show, whether it's serious or funny, emotional or stoic. So I would encourage you to go out there, spend 30 or $40 on some lighting equipment and a tripod, 
and see what you can make, see what you can produce. I hope you all are well. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.